right so it's actually a very interesting story about uh, how medicine we are uh, came there's usually uh, an edited version and an unedited version i think uh, this being a professional forum i will stick to the edited version so i am a surgeon by profession and right from the time i finished surgery i was always interested in minimal access surgery and uh, i went for various fellowships and uh, it, even during the course i realized that you know training for uh, minimal access surgery was the same uh, boxes what we call the box simulators uh, something which my dad trained on 20 years back right so that's something which was extremely eye opening and that's when i started thinking we should start looking at what's available across the world in terms of the latest training for healthcare uh, solutions so at this point of time i realized that uh, you know with the why the current generation of simulators were not being taken up and realized that this was some uh, something which could be addressed with the right team and the right talent which is abundant in india which is where my co-founders come into picture and uh, with their expertise in uh, the area of vr and already building uh, training solutions for various other industries we form we realized we would be very very quickly capable of delivering uh, a solution of immense value to the healthcare fraternity so this was a short story of how uh, we joined hands and how three founders from various different uh, backgrounds came together uh, to form medicine vr so this has been a sh- uh, a quick short journey or a long journey compared to uh, various other use case scenarios but it's been 4 years since we formed uh, medicine vr and uh, all the time and research has now been well spent uh, this has led us to where we are today so now uh, actually it's a, it's we had a very long relationship with pims uh, before we actually set the lab up my relationship with pims goes back almost to 15 years uh, because i was uh, about to join pims i remember coming in for the entrance meeting the principal and then subsequently by luck of the draw i got a seat in uh, a gown medical college and i did not uh, follow through on pims uh, so but right right from that point of time i always knew that pims was to play a role in my life i didn't realize when and how it was going to be but say let's fast forward 15 years and then uh, through our advisor we got to meet uh, reno ma'am and speak to her about the vision we had in terms of how medical training can be transformed with the right uh, initiative from both institutions and the technology side uh, we were very surprised at uh, how quickly things happened from that point of time onwards we went through a rigorous process uh, but uh, i have full respect for reno ma'am and johnny sir and how proactive they were in making sure uh, they had us come speak to various faculty and then we had spent some time with the students and subsequently they came and visited our lab in uh, in in kims and uh, then decided that this was something which the students at their institution must enjoy so from that point of time it did take us a fair bit of time to cut through the red tape and uh, get all the agreements in place but after they gave the go ahead she gave us unconditional support uh, in terms of setting the lab up and uh, requirements from the institution to develop something on this scale so long story short what uh, the lab you're seeing now in your institution uh, happen not just because of the efforts we put in but in uh, the faculty and the management at pims being so proactive uh, in pushing for uh, uh, technology which is just emerging uh, probably the most important uh, or exciting thing for you students must be how uh, you're going to be using the lab over the course of the next few years uh, right now we are going to be training you guys on all your uh, basic skill requirements before you start practicing them on patients uh that is going to be the advantage be it uh, learning how to assess a patient when he first comes in putting in an iv line so putting in a catheter a nasogastric tube various things like that uh things which if you are lucky enough you will get to do it on a patient uh on but more often than not from experience i know that if this is not something we take up right at the start it's these are skills which we tend to avoid picking up right till the end so that's where i think this is going to truly change the way you guys are going to be learning skills you will all be able to learn the required skills and make sure you are proficient at it before you approach a patient the confidence this can uh, this will give you 
will make a huge difference in the way you approach patients and your career moving forward. So the lab will cater to these kind of skill requirements and virtual patients is going to be another very interesting feature of the lab. So getting material to learn from is, is a challenge in medical institutions. Uh, usually patients might sit for uh, five minutes and then get really annoyed when the next person comes to examine or see a sign uh, on, uh, or a symptom on them. That is why this is going to be a game changer. You can walk into the lab anytime, get to see any sign or symptom on a patient and have the experience of a case discussion as to how it might feel during an examination. And imagine having access to all patients 10 days before your viva and just being able to see it at your uh, beck and call. I think that makes a huge difference for a student preparing for his examination. And I think that is uh, how I see the lab functioning for the next uh, few years. We'll be talking about where I see the lab being three years down the line. Cool. I think this is a very interesting uh, thing we're going to be talking about next. Where do we see uh, a lab like this being three years from now? Right now, this is the evolution of the technology. But what's going to happen is that three, four years down the line, we have advanced so far that this will become something a, a, a much more extensive, fancier, uh, more break through version of your computer labs and institutions uh, where you can walk in at any point of time, learn whatever material you want to uh, at your women fancy. I think this is going to change the way medical students train uh, in the near future. Uh, even when it comes to in terms of education, if you're going to spend half an hour wearing a headset looking at an anatomy model, I'm sure you will learn a great deal more than the same if you spend the same time looking at a textbook. I knew I was a distracted kid when I was a student. Uh, if I spent a couple of hours with a textbook, I would have spent 15-20 minutes looking at it actually. Uh, but that is something virtual reality won't allow you to do. You spend half an hour, you will have full use out of the half an hour. And that's where this uh, technology plays a special role. And it will also make sure that whatever time you spend here will not just be educational but extremely exciting as well. This is not even to mention the games which we can get play on virtual reality. Cool. Cheers.